Hello dear viewer, I'm Lee Sass, welcome back to House Flipper, and uh, let's take another bite of the elephant that is this garden, and see what more we can get done on here. Now, um, not much has changed since last time, I've been away for a few, a few days doing work stuff, uh, but now we're back, we're going to focus on one particular area, which is going to be the, 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 the food entertainment area. Now, um, I say that in that way because remember that uh, the, the scenario we're going with here is that the person living here um, is is happy. Well, they've got a tiny house. They can't do very much in the house. But I, I was wondering if they would maybe want to cook outside, which is why we've grabbed this. Well, it's a pizza oven, but <laughs> you know, I'm thinking of it as like an, an outside like stove type thing. If I put like a chimney on top. It's a shame that a pipe just ends like that. Um, See what else I could put out here, and I can imagine a little area where they would cook out here, but also entertain friends who would come around, and you have a little party area. It's a shame we can't move these horrible poles, and uh, these not horrible but annoying trees, but we'll, we'll see what we can do. Now, um, the thoughts around this are, first of all, it's it's we're going we're to work out from out inwards. We're not going to have so many plants over here. And not much wood because I'm putting some sort of barrier between us and the house because you know we have barbecues and other things over here. We we don't want a risk of fire happening, and we've got to be careful what sort of plants we put down because some aren't appropriate for eating areas. Question, question, first question is though, what can I do about this damn fence? And this is a question that apparently has been a, uh, been occurring to a number of people on on Twitter as well, where the uh, the dev team have been asking what people want want to do next and. And one of the things was be able to change fences and maybe, <clears throat> excuse me, um, yeah, change fences and walls, maybe even paint walls. So I'm not sure I can actually paint this wall, but it would be nice if I can. But I doubt there's any paint. I'm looking for paint. I'm looking for wood stain or paint because I'm thinking about what backdrop I would have for the uh, the area here. And I guess we could try. We're, we're, let's try. Let's just try paint. N not, not like that. <laughs> so, I know I painted my type thing. She seems pretty terrible. It's because my mic has to be right in front of me and therefore blocks my, my, uh, my keyboard. And that's my excuse, and I'm sticking to it. Um, I don't really. So, paint only finds painting. <laughs> okay, partly it's my terrible typing. I never, I never learned to type properly. That's the problem. I'm trying to do it in the dark. What? What? <laughs> Making me mad, game. Okay, that'll do. Eat it. Just buy one. Put it down. And then we'll try to paint. Do you think it's going to work? No. I'm not hugely surprised. I paint the tree? Paint the, paint the thing? I'm not really surprised that I can't, but I thought it'd be worth a go. There we go. Um, got a few quid back from that. So, the option is then next. Either we have a screen of trees or little plants that's not around the edge, or what I was thinking of as well, it might not really work, might look a bit weird, is can we put up some nicer fences? This is kind of nice. Doesn't look very tall though. Fence panel. Timmy! Timmy. Timmy looks like the taller. This sort of. It's kind of nice, isn't it? Should we try... Let's just try it with this one. Let's just buy one and see how it looks. I mean, that would be better than the current fence, would it? We could cover everything up with this sort of fence. And you probably... I know we'd look, it'd look a bit weird if we came into them. But it looks okay. I think, I think it'd be okay for giving this a different backing to what we've currently got. Because otherwise I'm thinking of like a screen of trees and, and it, trying to find the right trees is tricky, tricky as well. How about... Let's go for the better. Um... Stop! Stop! Stop it! Okay, stop looking at me, and you, you're putting me off. That's that's the problem. It's you're you're you're, you're watching me too closely. Um, <laughs> sure. Um, I don't want to go for the one with the trellis on top because that will show the current fence through too much. But this one might be nice. What sort of look could we want? Um, I guess it might make a difference to what flooring I might put down. Oh my god! I can change the left and the right edge. That's too much choice, game. I will have. There we go. We're gonna go for the. Let's just, let's just see how it looks. Is that kind of nice? I don't want it too. I don't think too bright is what I'm saying. I don't want to have um, like a white fence because I'm not keyboard, keyboard. I, there we go. I blame the keyboard for my bad typing as well. Um, 
I was thinking that in an area like this, it could be too glaring. It could be a really hot, sunny day, like it has been today in Britain. Uh, well, at least the bit I'm in. And um, apologies if you're not having a. <laughs> if it's not a nice sunny day for you. Can I, I can always put that outside the fence, can't I? Is that gone on the outside? What am I going to do about that? It's on the outside. <laughs> I guess I can I can grab it. That's kind of weird. We can build next door's fence for them. Why are you not popping to the right place? Well, this might take me a bit of fiddling. Oh, you do line up. Okay. Yeah. So in the I'm I'm in I'm in London and the um and today has been a very nice day out in the garden. And in fact, what I've been doing today is I've actually been gardening. So why I'm now playing a gardening game, I have no idea. But there you go. Um, is that right? I'm having trouble lining them up. It doesn't look like it's quite lining up properly. And this could be the breaking point for me. How am I going to get... Am I going to have to reorganise all these so they actually fit together? I've not done much with fences so far. Oh, God. Okay, I'm going to have to reorganise them all. Okay. There we go. The corner's a little annoying. Have you done... Oh, and this one's decided to flip... For some, for some reason, decided to flip around. I don't really know why, but there you go. Um, it's kind of fiddly, though. That's in the right place. There, that's a bit better. I like the backing a bit more. There's a nice, cleaner finish on here. Here, we could be nice to have a little gate of some sort. I'm not going to fiddle around with that yet. I'll do that a bit later, I think. So what I'm envisioning is like a big patio area here and some different sorts of seating and then we're gonna have probably a separation from the house here as well I don't know how to do that I'm not sure yet okay um, but do we put some trees in as well is what I'm thinking we want some so we, the sort of trees we want to have and what we don't want to have that might be nice well, no. Yeah, look at these look like these look like two meter fences. So let's see how this looks. That might be all right. That's a possibility. Um, we don't want to have like coniferous type shrubs over here because they tend to be quite resiny, and that'll attract flies. And you don't want flies in your dinner. You know, you don't want those things buzzing into your into your food. This isn't. Oh, it's grape, I think. But it's not really going to be. I need like a thick. A thick layer of trees just to break up the look the pattern of the wood a little bit um don't want coniferous we don't want we also want, want fl well we might want flowering but gently flowering again because you know some people don't i don't mind bees and wasps but some people you know really hate that kind of thing so sweet fruits are a bad idea for attracting that you know raspberry canes and all the rest and uh, maybe apple trees and also um climbers might be good i wonder how that will look on there. Oh, that's oh, I quite like that's an idea actually. That might be okay. I mean, what would be nice would be something like, mm, like a honeysuckle again. But again, that could attract the insects. What we could do, I mean, like that. What do you think of this? Hold on. Is that too samey? We don't have to have it all across all the same way, do we? I'm trying to centre it on the fence panel, which is what I'm trying to do here. Ah, you goddamn son of a... Yes, yeah, so it's been a beautiful sunny day here today, and I did some gardening, and then I... Um, don't get the brush cutter out. Then I uh, I had some lunch, and I fell asleep <laughs> in the sun on the lounger. I haven't got such a nice lounger as we have in this garden, but I've got quite a, kind of a nice lounger, and I'm, I'm really hoping that I haven't sunburned myself. Is what I'm hoping. <laughs> I haven't, haven't given myself sunburn laying in, asleep in the sun. That's going to be kind of embarrassing. I'm, uh, I'm fairly pale. I mean, I'm not. I'm not like dark fairy pale, but then she's a redheaded Irish lady. So you know, that's 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 on the scale of pale, like the more like the most scale for like measuring hardness, um, or measuring pale skin. Um, well. <laughs> Irish Irish redhead is 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 way up there. Uh, I'm digging myself in deep here. I better be. I should be trying. Let's be quiet now about pale skin. Um, yeah, but I'm pretty pale. Um, and, but I'm more like the the freckly kind. So you know, to get a tan, I I lay in the sun and I I wait for the freckles to join up. And eventually, I get some sort of tan. But there you go. That's that's uh, that's. Uh, 
I don't know if I like it or not. It's all right, I guess. We'll compare it. What we'll do is we'll compare it with. Um, we we'll compare it with. Not the not those ones. Let's have a look. Where was that original one I had? Here we go. The clue, clue, columna. I can't pronounce it. Columna. Now, column is an easy word to say, Col but when you add an AR thing, it sort of mangles it with the N. I'm usually really pretty good at pronouncing things, but... Columna shrub? Doesn't sound right. <laughs> Whew, give myself a funny turn. Right, okay. Um, I mean, we could put a bunch of these in. If we disperse these between here, that'd be okay. Maybe that'd be better. Right, let's do let's do some let's do some fiddling around here. Right, just finishing up now the last few of these plants. It does take a long time to plant plants in this game. It's kind of I don't think it's going to get much faster than this. It's a little bit painful, but there we go. Also, I just noticed that the um, even better these climbers have little white flowers on them, which is kind of lovely, really. Makes me think a bit of a bit of, little bit of passion flower maybe. I mean passion flower is more of a not really a more of a climber than a anything like that. But it's kinda of, I like it. I like the effect on it. And I think this is an overall it's an okay effect. I'm I'm always caught between having too many varieties of plants and maybe too much variety in the sort of plants. So the way I'm looking at it is not the way someone might look at it when they first walk in and go, okay, this is this is what the garden looks like, it, and the background and everything else. I don't know. I I want order and I want randomness at the same time, and I and I, I can't have that, which is kind of frustrating. Anyway, the yeah, next thing to do is the patio, the actual flooring. I think is is uh, is where to go with. Now, the only thing I'm concerned about here is how it's going to behave with these trees and these goddamn poles as well. But there's nothing much we can do about that. So, but I'm just going to fill it in for now. Now, what I really want, not sand, is big slabs. Nice big paving slabs is what would be good. Composite board doesn't sound nice. This is concrete paving slabs. These ones might be okay. These might be okay, actually. I'll bear that one in mind. And this one here as well. Um, I want really big, like, Portland stone type slabs. 100 by 100. That could be perfect, actually. That I think that we're going to go for that. We might get alternative colours as well. We do. Um, that's just the border. I want a fairly pale... Everything's too much, too much brown in the garden. I've done too much brown. I've done red before. Blue? No, I don't think blue because... That's got a reddish pattern to it on there. I think we'll just go with, with pale stones is what we would do. Uh, we'll go with pale... Let's just scroll down. What was it called? Simnofer or something like that? What's it called? Granite would be nice, but the stones are too small. I want big slabs, but not concrete ones. Symphonia. Symphonia. That's what we're after here. A yellow? Yellow might be nice, or an orange. Orange versus the green on the walls. Probably yellow. I think yellow might be alright, actually. Portland stone is what I'm, I'm, what I'm hoping for already. Portland stone is a very pale stone. Ah! Keyboard, really. I've got to buy my son a new mouse, so I think while I'll be doing that, I'll be getting myself a new keyboard. It's just too far gone. That's what it is. And is that too dark with that stone there? I don't know. Yeah, so Portland stone is... Um, Portland is an... It's actually an island, really. It's an island off the coast of, of Britain. But it's, it's a joint. It's a joint by like a... What's the word? It's a, it's a glorified sandbar, is what it is. I can't think what the proper word for it is now, but um, I, I think at one point it would have been that you'd have to get the right tide to be able to, you know, to be able to um, get between the mainland and the, and the island. One of the things the island's known for is a very pale, beautiful stone. Um, if you want to know what that looks like, uh, have a look sometime at the uh, Tower of London. That is the kind of stone. Uh, I think I like this. I'm not sure. I think I think I like it. I think I'm okay with it. Um, it's a very pale stone. It's very expensive though. 
but it's a beautiful stone to have things like pavings and other things made out of. And quite valuable buildings, but I don't think I could afford a building made out of Portland stone. But it'd be nice to have paving slabs like that as well. There we go. I think we're okay. So I'm going to try and fill this in like this and see. Try to avoid gaps as much as possible. Do I want like a mini fence between here and here? I know, I think I want it open. I don't better just walk in here. Have it open. So you come in the gate. Your, 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 your friends come in. Your friends and family, whoever it is, come in the gate. Let's walk straight into the area where the uh, where the food and the... And a little party's going to happen. And you get a look at the, you can wander around and look at the rest of the garden, but you can open, you can go straight into here without any sort of barrier. I think so. Let's see what I can do with these stones. Yeah, laying laying paving slabs is legitimately hard work. Okay, I've done that sort of thing before now, but so is doing this. Quite frankly, so it's um, I'm actually getting hand cramp a little bit from it takes such fine manoeuvring to put these things down. I think I need to. Um, it needs some sort of snap to tool, I think. I'd like it if I could paint these in, really. I'm not, I know occasionally you want to place them individually, but other times, you know, you just want to paint paint in the areas you want covered with this tile pattern. Like in the, in the, is it in the bathroom when you do that? I can't remember, is it the, the floor, isn't it? When you do the floor, you put tiles inside the house. What is wrong with that? You can just paint them in, can't you? And occasionally I get really weird effects, which is not lining up properly, which is odd. That's okay, isn't it? There we go. I think, no, it's not. What's off there? One more over? And you get occasional fiddling around like this where I can't seem to get it to line up. Okay, a lot of it's done, but now I'm having patio problems where, for example, I can't put a full tile in there because it's clashing with this plant. So what I want, if I go for the the smaller Simnophia, that's the yellow and then the grey, okay. Um, how can I, will it match up? I mean, I imagine it would do without a curve. And I want with a curve. It'd be great if they just match up, wouldn't it? Yeah, that'd be lovely. Like that one? Oh, it's how it's so okay. So it's the way around it matches. Where's the long tile that it matches with? I imagine it's exactly the same as half of it. I'm trying to compare the pattern with the other one. Oh, got it. I think that's I think that's it. Okay, so in real trouble matching it up, but I don't know why. I think maybe that it wouldn't match up, but it does. It's just not logical, in my mind, how it matches up. Um, no, that's not right. That one definitely did, though. Oh, okay. oh, I'll get there. Okay, I think I've done as much as I can. The, the snap two rules are a little odd. Um, and, for example, I can match ones over on this side, but I can't do the equivalent of matching on this side because of the way that the tail, the tail, tile is half. Um, but that'll do, I think. That's about as much as I can do. So what I'll do now then, um, I don't know if I just showed you this last time, but what I did around the, uh, oh, I've worked through the night, look. i will watch into the night. Um, over here, I realized that what some of the plants, did I mention this before? I said that the plants look a bit odd because they were growing out of grass. And in fact, normally, of course, your plants will be growing out of dirt. You, know, you, you might have grass growing up to the, to the base of your tree, which can make it a little bit trickier to mow around it, but you don't normally have grass growing up to the base of your plant, you, unless it's a really big plant, you have dirt underneath it, or you know, decorative bark of some sort. Um, I don't actually know what decorative bark I've used there. Probably the same as the, as the, as the one I've been walking on, but I can't actually remember what that was now. Um, what colour it was. It wasn't wood cutting, it was definitely bark. Brown? I think it probably was. It looks about the same, doesn't it? Anyway, if it's not the same, it's kind of isolated over here, it doesn't matter. So what I was going to do was just fill in around the trees. I mean, it could be grass there. No, it feels weird. I don't think it would be grass around there. I think it would be... I think it would be... Oh, come on. Urgh! You have to mess around with the circle, the 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 the, 
the painting circles nice to make it work properly. It's it's very labour intensive that I found this 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 game uh, more than more than a house flipper itself. Per, certain parts of house flipper can be can be labour intensive, but just because of the way that the for example I can't fill that in there. I mean, why are you not filling in? It's sorry if I'm flicking around like this. I'm, I'm, I don't mean to make you zick, but it's just how you have to do it. And I have to reduce the circle all the way down to be able to easily fill in around there like that. Kind of a faff, and more than it needs to be, I think, which is which is a shame. And if I can't get rid of all this, now I've done part of the bar, if I can't get rid of all this grass around this tree now, that's going to drive me around the bend. Thank you.